Hello, thank you for joining me again today. I'm gonna to be going grocery shopping, but before I do that, I wanted to go over my menu for the next week so that you can see what we're having and what we're shopping for. Now, I have a lot of things already in the freezer and in the refrigerator that didn't get made last week. So this is not going to be a full shopping haul, but um, this is the weekend and I need to get ready for the next week. So let me show you what is on the menu for this week. So this is my little notebook and I love to do my menus in here and I also keep my to-do list in this this little notebook it's just a little um, small notebook so this is gonna be from October 30th through November 4th well it's actually through number November 5th because Sunday is a cookout but on Monday I'm gonna be doing pasta and meat sauce this is an easy quick meal we usually have it once a week um, and Monday is a day that we usually have an activity in the evening so I need something that's fast and easy to throw together and then we'll um, do a salad kit with that for vegetables Tuesday is gonna be a more intense day so I'm gonna be making I found a recipe for Swedish meatballs that looked really really good so I'm gonna be making that with mashed potatoes and green beans I already have all of the ingredients for the meatballs for this I just didn't get to make it last week so we're gonna be doing that on Tuesday so Wednesday is going to be our taco night and some some of us have nachos some of us have tacos some of us have a taco salad but um, I make a big skillet of taco mix and then people can just have it however they want and we'll use a Mexican salad kit for that on Thursday we're gonna have chicken and noodles I actually bought a whole chicken back when we weren't feeling very well because I was hoping to make chicken and noodles then but I just started feeling too bad to cook so I put the chicken in the freezer so it's there I already have the egg noodles and um, I have frozen broccoli so I actually have everything I'm gonna need for that meal Friday we usually like to grill on Fridays so we're gonna be making pork chops um, I don't have those I'll have to buy those <laughs> we're gonna be having baked potatoes and then we will have um, probably another Caesar salad kit with that we eat a lot of salad here for vegetables um, okay so Saturday um, my second and third son are going to be home they've been gone for one to two months um, my third son has been gone for one month my second son has been gone for two months they're driving across the country with my dad um, and they're gonna be back so we're gonna have kind of a celebration meal um, so everybody loves my meatloaf but especially these two sons and my dad really loves it too so I'm excited to make that for them so it'll be meatloaf mashed potatoes my special rolls and then my homemade Caesar salad which is just absolutely delicious and everybody loves so that's gonna be a special celebratory meal and then Sunday we were actually invited over to our neighbors to cook out so um, I won't be cooking then we'll probably make a dessert to take along with us so this is the whole list of dinners for the week I will be buying breakfast items and lunch items as well as little snack stuff um, to fill it in but this is not going to be a terribly expensive grocery haul because I really already have the majority of the meat that we're gonna need actually the only meat I think I'm gonna be buying is the pork chops and the meat for the meatloaf so um, let's see how much it ends up costing I'm gonna try to get everything at Aldi but we'll see how I actually do okay they have these apple strudel breads this look really really good I'm sure this is a seasonal item they had um, pumpkin brioche at Trader Joe's that was really delicious that everybody loved but they don't have that anymore so we're gonna try this and see if it's a close um, if it's a close dupe for that and then Hosanna was pointing out the sliced brioche loaves that they have those are expensive though that's $4.89 yeah there's a chocolate chip one and then that looks really good pumpkin spice vanilla brioche. cream brioche Ooh, pumpkin spice brioche do you think that one's more like the Trader Joe's one uh, maybe. okay I guess we better try this one too then so we're gonna get one of the pumpkin slice brioche and then we'll get one of the apple strudel that one looks really good too though the vanilla cream I think that one looks good okay so Aldi always has these really delicious things that tempt us to spend extra money. 
These cherry tomatoes last summer were 89 cents a clamshell, and now they are $1.85 a clamshell, which maybe that is because it's the end of October. I'm not really sure, but I was planning on getting a bunch of these for snacking. And now I'm thinking I'm only going to get two because that's expensive. That's expensive because it is only 10 ounces. So it's more, it's on the, it's close to $2 a pound, which is more than I like to spend for produce. Got a lot of produce in the cart so far. Avocados are only 69 cents, so it's actually pretty good. I'm gonna get a couple of these too. Let's see if we can find one that's not rock hard. Maybe that's why these are so inexpensive is because they're so far from being ripe. Let's see. Well. Okay. This one feels like it might be ripe in three days, so we're just gonna get one. I've been trying to keep nuts in the house, but then Ryan keeps eating them. So he told me to just buy more while he was snacking on them today. So I guess I'll just go ahead and get another big thing of cashews, and that's only $10.49. So I feel like that's a pretty decent price. Let's see, they have great nuts here. They have all different sorts of cashews salt and pepper, coconut, sea salt. Um, they have some organic ones. They used to have little snack packs with the cashews in it, but now all I'm seeing is almonds. Almonds and walnuts, which those are not our favorite, so I'm not gonna get those. Let's see, I don't really like trail mix either. I like the plain nuts. Let's see here. I love Aldi for their cheese. They have got some really neat stuff here and for really good prices. This is called Tete de Moine. I think that I pronounced that right. And it's these little cheese rosettes. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I have no idea how this tastes, but we're going to find out. <laughs> it just looks too good. But look, they have all of these different really neat looking cheeses. I come here whenever I do charcuterie boards. Hazana and I are going to be doing charcuterie on Saturday for a women's retreat and we will be getting a lot of our stuff here. They just have really good high quality cheese and they have really interesting stuff. So they have these little small goat cheeses. This is a perfect size for like a small charcuterie board. They have flavors and then they have plain. This one right here is just $1.89. That's a really great value. I'm actually going to get this too. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to put it this week, but we're going to use it somewhere. And then they have diced pancetta and diced prosciutto down here, which I love using diced pancetta in, um, in my pasta sauce. And then lots of different salamis. They even have boars in here, which that's not the best price, but that's okay. Let's see. Look at this one. White Stilton with mango and ginger. That sounds amazing. Hosanna's pointing out the cranberry goat cheese. Double Gloucester cheese with onion and chive. That looks really good. Let's see. Ooh, what's this one? Champagne cheddar. Wow. They have a goat's milk brie. They have everything ba bagel seasoning chef. Oh my goodness, I'm getting hungry. Okay, so buy your cheese at Aldi, people. Save money and try something new. So we are getting a full flat of this applesauce. It's non-GMO, it's unsweetened. It's 309 for a quart. I think it's a quart. How much is it? Um, 46 ounces, so that's actually more than a quart. It's a good deal. It's healthy. It's a fun snack. It's nice to add to the kids' lunches. So the other thing that I love to get over here, which I'm not getting today, 
is their canned peaches. So they have peaches in extra light syrup. They have some in 100% fruit juice and this is what I buy. So I'll put two cans of this in our oatmeal in the morning as it cooks with the juice and the kids love it. It's really, really good. And these are $1.29 a can. It's a little bit expensive, but it's a fun thing to add to the oatmeal so that it's not so boring. But they also have mandarin slices and light syrup. They have pears, but these I think, let's see. Oh, these are in pear juice now. These used to only, they only had these in heavy syrup. So this is good. We might start buying some pear slices then too because it's just a fun thing to add that the kids like. But they also have pineapple chunks in 100% juice. And then they also have slices in juice. They have fruit cocktail now in juice, so that's great. They used to only have the fruit cocktail in light syrup and heavy syrup, and I don't like to buy those. I like to buy the ones in juice. So that gives us more options. I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and buy a flat of the pears and oh hold on see these this is the heavy syrup so you have to be careful to get the one um the right one so we're going to do some switching around and get a whole flat of this okay the chocolate is another thing that we love to buy here they have a really high quality swiss chocolate here uh, one of my daughters loves these sea salt caramels dark chocolate sea salt caramels um their candy bars are really good High quality candy bars for $1.59. What are you gonna get, Hosanna? Oh my god. Those are really good for $1.89. You want mochi instead? I don't know if it's These are the green ones. Those are really good. Chocolate hazelnut pieces. You can see they have sea salt, chocolate covered cashews. And those are dark chocolate cashews there for $3.99. Really delicious choices. High quality too. Okay, here's a whole end cap dedicated to really nice charcuterie options. So those cheese crisps are delicious. They have, this is new, they haven't had this before. It's honeycomb with honey, acacia honey. That's really, really good. I always put some honeycomb on my big charcuterie tables. They have sour cherry jam, and they have fig jam. That is fantastic. They have this little sampler pack of jams with four different ones for $6.99. That's a great deal. Onion chutney. Oh, that is nice. Onion chutney and red pepper fruit spread. Those, those are really, really nice. Um, Marcona almonds for $4.99. A nice whole grain mustard. Ooh. Salamini morsels. Those are like little, little tiny salamis. Those are neat. And a Norwegian crisp spread. That's a really fancy cracker to set out. That would be really pretty. They have the gherkins, or cornichons, excuse me. So these are nicer. Ooh, these are chili cornichons. So those are kind of spicy. That is fantastic. And they have feta stuffed olives, jalapeno jack. Hosanna's really excited about this. <laughs> Let's see, what else do they have? They have some shelf stable salami here. They have these rosemary Italian breadsticks. And these are really pretty artisan crackers. They just look really nice on the board. I don't know why they put that trail mix here. <laughs> that does not go here. And then let's see, some little wafer crackers. Those are really pretty on a board. And then grilled crostini toast. So all of this stuff is really well priced, high quality items that will make your charcuterie boards really pop. Well, that escalated quickly. I thought that today's grocery haul would actually be less than normal. <laughs> I was about $50 more than my usual Aldi haul and I still need to get pork chops. I didn't like Aldi's price on pork chops so I'm going to be getting those at Sam's or Costco. So I ended up spending $248 which like I said it's about $50 more than usual but I think I got distracted by cheese and 
ended up with three flats of canned goods, um, which normally I'll get one. And I left my wallet at home. <laughs> so Ryan had to give me a crash course on how to use Apple Pay. That was fun and um, horrifying at the same time. <laughs> so let's see, this was a little bit more fun than I bargained for today, but at least we have delicious cheese to look forward to and chocolate. So once we get home, we'll spread everything out on the table and show you everything that we got. Okay, here is everything loaded neatly into the van. And the van is looking extra nice today because Louie was kind enough to vacuum it out yesterday. That's one of his Saturday jobs. So yay to Louie for such a clean van. Okay, made it home finally. I have everything laid out here. So we'll start over here with the bread. Um, tortillas, I got four bags of the tortillas. We do a lot of quesadillas with these and tacos on taco night. Got three bags of the whole wheat bread. This week is gonna be so busy. I know I'm not gonna have any time to make any bread. So I went ahead and bought some and then one bag of this healthier sprouted wheat bread for people who care about that. <laughs> I got these two for breakfast, the apple strudel breakfast bread. That looks so good. And then the pumpkin spice brioche. And this does actually look a lot like the one from Trader Joe's. So I think we're gonna really enjoy both of those. Two boxes of Ritz crackers. Some of this will be for the meatloaf, but the rest will be for snacks. And I got a bag of the kettle chips because we need chips for football, watching football. <laughs> so we got a big bag of the um, red grapefruit. I have several kids who really love grapefruit. And then two bags of mandarin oranges. Aldi generally has the best prices on those. And we go through a lot of those. Got three bags of Honeycrisp apples, which the kids also love for snacks. So I used to buy baby carrots but the kids actually prefer eating whole carrots for snacks. They'll walk around eating it like a bunny, um, whereas the baby carrots would just sit there. So I got two bags of carrots and I got two packages of iceberg lettuce, one to go with tacos and one to go on sandwiches if anybody wants any of that. Some celery for snacking and cucumbers for snacking. Um, let's see, my one lone avocado that is still pretty hard I'm hoping if I can give it a few days, it'll soften up. Hopefully I'll remember and eat it in time. Then I got three salad kits, two Caesar and one um, Southwest. That just makes dinner time a lot easier. And then a little bag of red onions and two of these bags or boxes, clamshells of cherry tomatoes. This is the ground beef for the meatloaf. I needed three pounds. Um, of lean and this one's 90% and this is 85-15 so I'm going to mix those together. Two little steaks and then I got this, um, I have not bought this before, we'll see if it's any good. No nitrites or nitrate, no artificial colors or flavors, um, oven roasted chicken breast. So we'll see if that's any good. Um, three pounds of butter. This one, this butter is for baking, and then this is the butter that we use to spread on toast and things like that. The Irish butter. They have a really good price on this. And then two blocks of the white sharp cheddar. This will probably be for snacks with crackers. Um, some light sour cream. This is the light cream cheese. And I'll be using that for. Let's see, what am I using it for this week? I know I bought it for a reason, but now I can't remember what. Oh well, we'll keep it in the fridge, <laughs> we'll use it. Um, so we pair this with the breads for breakfast, the Greek yogurt, so we can get some good protein in. I have a strawberry and a vanilla. The big um, tub of cashews for Ryan. <laughs> Um, this was where I went a little bit off the rails. So this is the acacia honey with the honeycomb in it. And my little goat cheese, the fancy cheese rosettes. Those are so pretty. Got some spicy hummus and 
saw this wooden spoon that was only three dollars and it's really wide and really neat so I always need more wooden spoons so we got one of those and I bought this for Hosanna because apparently she loves mozzarella and she loves um, ravioli so this was her perfect match we'll see if she actually eats it two of these mild chunky sauces I buy two of these every single time I go because the kids love it with their quesadillas and Clara wanted some more of this juice she really liked it it's a superfood juice so I bought one jar of that for her and then I've been buying the sparkling water at Aldi because it's significantly cheaper this big box with 12 cans is only three dollars this was a special flavor I don't know if we're gonna like it or not ginger fruit punch but um, me and the girls and Ryan will drink these so this is Clara's sea salt caramels she loves these and this is what Hosanna decided on the hazelnut pieces I bought this little box of mint ice cream sandwich minis for everyone to enjoy they're just a little treat and then four dozen eggs because our hens do not produce nearly enough for the family so we have to supplement with store eggs and then here's that applesauce that I was talking about earlier so the kids absolutely love this and it's good for them too went ahead and bought the flat of pear slices here and that is in pear juice and I'll probably um, let them have this with breakfast or as a side with dinner and then a whole flat of kidney beans um, I add these to the taco mix and then I add them to salads too so we usually go through quite a bit of beans so this was the whole the whole table and let's take a look at the receipt real quick so the total came to if I can focus here two hundred and forty eight dollars and forty four cents and like I said I still need to buy pork chops that'll be another twenty dollars but that should get us through the week now I have gone to Sam's and Costco already um, I did that on Friday so that doesn't include that but this should round it out and get us through for the next week